African-American man is going to visit his white girlfriend's parents, who are super rich. And it's a horror movie, so you know, bad things happen. The brilliance of this movie is the way that they're able to set things up, make them pay off in a really subtle way. The way that they plant ideas and make them pay off later in the future. It's something that horror movies just don't do anymore. This movie's social commentary is so great because it talks about something that movies don't talk about. People that are unaware of their racism. It doesn't go after racists. It doesn't go after these, you know, redneck, overtly racist white people. It says, what about these ignorant white liberals who have these preconceived ideas of what black people are and they're wrong? The type of people who aren't racist, but they have no idea how to interact with a black person, how to talk to a black person, and whenever they do, it's embarrassing. And Daniel Kaluuya does a great job at portraying this social anxiety. All the little details in his behavior, every single thing he says, the way he speaks, it all helps to create that feeling. And while everyone around him is behaving in a way that's a little off to make you feel really uneasy, he is the one that is really making you feel uneasy. Because you just see the look in his eyes and you are just as terrified as he is. Because you see how he's feeling. And the way that Jordan Peele directs the movie just makes you feel uneasy the whole way through. And the way that the lighting of the scenes starts to change more and more as you progress through the movie, it's brilliant. It's this great building of tension. Jordan Peele has shown with this movie that he definitely knows how to direct a thriller. The comedy in this movie is hilarious, and the way that it blends in with the thriller tone is brilliant. If you ever watched the Key and Peele skit, it's a little bit like that, where it still kind of has this serious tone, but you can tell there's this overt absurdity to it. Like, the rich white people will say these absurdly stupid things about black people. And you just start cracking up, but at the same time, it's hinting that something is really off with these people. It's fantastic. And Lil Rel Howery is so hilarious as the main character's best friend. The things that he says are so crazy and so over the top. It's just that perfect type of Jordan Peele humor. He's such a fun character who says all these insane things that end up being sort of correct in a little bit. There's so many great shocks in this movie where you're just like, what? That's what's happening now? The movie knows how to twist your brain around and make you just wonder what is going to happen next. It engages you, subverts your expectations, and shocks you. There are also some really nice gore effects, and the lady sitting a few seats down from me was freaking out. It was awesome. I'm going to give Get Out an A.